Good morning. Today uh, I thought I would shoot, try to shoot a video on how to pinstripe um, your golf cart. It's a very cheap and inexpensive way to really add a different dimension to the looks of your golf cart. It, it's amazing what a difference just little pinstriping will make. So I'm going to show you, try to show you. I'm having a little <laughs> issues. I can't bend over. I got a sore back. Uh, I'll try to do my best to show you. But it's pretty easy and uh, hopefully you'll maybe uh, see how easy it is and decide to do it to yourself. So let's get going. Really all you need is some basic tools, a pair of scissors, a razor blade, a uh, knife maybe. The pin striping, this is what it looks like. It comes in rolls. A nice clean rag and just a hard surface that you can use as a backer to uh, cut this stuff. So. First thing you need to do is wash the body, your area, clean it real good, and then once it's dry, take some alcohol or one of those eyeglass cleaners and just rub where you're going to uh, install the tape. Once you do that, then lay it out. Um, I took a tape measure and a pencil, and I kind of made some marks that will wipe off real easy. This is where I'm going to end one end of it. I'm going to go on the back here, and I'm going to and another one right here. I did the same thing on the other side for marks. Then I hurried up and marked the front kind of similarly where I wanted to st the height, stop and start. Um, and I'm just gonna throw a basic one on here. You can get as elaborate as you want. You can do something like that. Uh, a basic one that I call basic is just something like this one. See how it's, it's double lined, but then at the end you can get creative, you can just merge it and end it like most people do um here's another one same type of thing these are just straight lines but i've taken them and, and just followed the contour of the body i've done that then on the front you know you can just put a little piece here here they got creative on the edge and i'll try to remember to show you that um i'll probably take it a little farther around but some people go up top. You can do just about anything with this pinstripe. And if you don't like it, you can uh, pull it right back off. So first thing you need to do is you get your pinstriping. You need to cut off the bad edge to get started. This pinstripe has a fat and a skinny line. I'm going to put the fat line on the top. So I'm going to turn around. going to go on like this. So I'm going to start back here where I want it to start. I'm trying to get this stuck. And as I move, some of this off. I got it in the box and it's not peeling off. Okay. Okay. So I've got this pulled off. I don't know if you can see this. So I started right here. Now I'm going to go down. This is my ending point right here. So I'm going to put my whole some pressure on that. I'm pulling this backing, this white backing off down to here. Now I'm going to put pressure on the right here so I don't pull it. And then I'm going to go all pull it taut till I get where I want to be, right like that. And then we're going to. Blend it out, that's what this rag's for, okay? Get this down here. Now I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, we're done with this for a while. Now, that is, there's a stripe. Now, the, the ends, I'm gonna try to, there's a layer of clear plastic over the top of these, holding these two together. 
we're gonna that's the last thing you do is pull that off but first what we you gotta decide what you want to do here if you want to merge these what you have to do is take the razor blade and split between the two black lines now that's what I use this hard part for as a backer so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit maybe back to here put this on here and see if I can split this with a razor blade I'm doing this from the wrong side so you can see so once you you slide this razor blade try not to cut the black but okay I kind of split that the reason we did that is so we can pull this apart you see how I pull it apart so what I'm going to do now is take the fat part I evened it out I put pressure now this is where you can get creative you can move this anywhere around I'm going to take it and just kind of bring it up like this this is what you saw in some of those other ones okay we're going to The reason it's peeling off is because I'm trying to stick it on top of the clear plastic on this black, which I should have taken off already. Hope I don't have to turn the camera off to do this, but what I have to do is get this black separated from this clear. Because again, the clear comes off. I have to shut this video down so Mr. Magoo can get this. Okay, so I got the clear off of there. Now, what I want to do as I pull this, I'm pulling with my right hand and I'm putting pressure on the body with this left hand and this towel. So as we go, down to here so I'm going to pull this all the way off there now coming back here we're going to try to do the same thing we did up there I'm ending it here I left it long so I can cut it this is what it looks like so once you got this arrow effect then you can take your razor blade Okay, and that's it. That's simple. And what a difference! I'll get a close-up for you, but that's the uh, that's what it looks like. Just like that. Then we'll take and go back and erase these pencil marks. Okay, I did the other side of the back, and I did part of the front already. Now I'm getting ready to do the other part of the front here. I'm going to show you. So what I did, I cut the uh, piece of pinstriping just a couple inches longer. It's easier to handle and manage. So I'm getting ready to put it on there. And I've already started to separate the uh, backing from it on both sides just to make it a little easier. So, got my mark where I want to be. Just going to put this over there. And I'm going to start in the front because we have to curve this this time. And it's a little trickier when you're curving. Okay. So I've got it stuck on the front here. Now my back's going to be in your way. See, I don't know if I can do it standing up. But I'm going to try. So as I'm pulling this off, i got to start bending this and it will bend let me get this over here this stuff you can really play with this stuff quite a bit okay so i'm going to end up wanting to be somewhere yikes 
around about here. So what I need to do is start bending this. See how I'm doing it right here? I'm, I'm pulling with this, not too hard to stretch it, but I'm pulling my fingers out of the way because this, I want to end up right about here. So, okay, this doesn't look good right here. So I'm going to pull this apart and redo this a little bit right here. Okay. About to there. Okay. Now, take my razor blade. Try to separate this. Okay, the pinstriping is done. Um, I'm going to show you. Again, this is a crappy old body. I just did this pinstriping for the video. Okay? So we're throwing this body away anyway. <laughs> going to be putting a new one on. So, so I should kind of show you what a difference it makes. It's just... It's very inexpensive, but it's, it really makes it pop. You can use, there's different colors. Pinstriping's cheap. You can buy it online all over the place. Um, if you're looking for it and can't find it, I can sell you some. I have different colors, so hit me up for that. The front, this is the way I did it. And in fact, you can see, if you go real close, see how I, this one is bent? I've kind of got a... A burn, bend in it, and then it comes up on the left side. Then on the side, this side, I take it up. Did not take it up as high, so you could kind of see the ends I feathered. The ends I feathered. So you put a a club car badge on there, or clean that off. You could actually put a decal up here. Some people do some fancy. Uh, pinstriping up there but anyway very simple you can do this in an hour easy with layout and everything and it's done right now I mean it's done you just wipe it real good with that cloth afterwards and that's it so hopefully uh, this is kind of a fun video for you hopefully it shows you you can do something really cheap to uh, to sparkle up your cart here's an old DS see how they did that they Stop one line shorter. You can just get so creative. Here I got a DS, I think, up here. Yeah, they put the, see, they put the skinny line on top. See it? And the fat line on the bottom. Oh, also, look what they did here. They came up and they kind of followed this. Again, it's a DS, but I'm just kind of showing you another DS, how creative and how many different ways there are to be doing this. So there it is. That's it on this video. Um, hope you liked it. Um, I was looking for something easy to do so I didn't have to bend over <laughs> too much. So that's it. Uh, I'm working on a video. I'm going to um, explain how to troubleshoot an M-Core. Kind of involved with electrically, but I'm going to put it together for you that really want to learn how to not just replace it, but check it out. So uh, I'm working on that. And um, anything else, let me know if you want a video on an electric golf cart that you haven't seen, and I'll try to put it together. Uh, I got a little more time now because my Mark, my brother-in-law and partner now, is taking over more of the business and doing most of the repairs on his, cell, on his own now. So it frees me to do other stuff. And uh, anyway, um, hopefully to start building up my eBay store a little bit, selling parts, any parts you need. My phone number's there. If it's not, it's 760-393-1314. You can call me, text me, email me, lemwert, L-E-M-W-E-R-T, at sbcglobal.net. 
Wayne's Golf Carts is my eBay store. I don't have, I, I have, <laughs> I have five businesses I run, so it's I'm a little behind. So if you don't see a parts on there and you're looking for it, need it, hit me up and I'll tell you what they should cost. If I don't have it, I'll tell you where you can buy it. Okay, so enjoy it. Hope you uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know if I can help you. Yeah.